We will show you one frame of this man's murder, this human being's murder. It is disturbing and it is hard to erase from one's memory once consumed. If you do not wish to see it, now is the time to look away and certainly to remove your children from the room. Here is a man, a 26 year old man, a citizen of Jordan, who was trying to stop the face of evil and instead became a victim of it. This is Moaz al Bey, caged, covered in flammable liquid and burning alive. Joining me now, Mark Thiessen. He's a former chief speechwriter to President George W. Bush, a fellow at the American Inter Enterprise Institute and a Fox News contributor. And as we, as we watch evil with our very eyes and come to fully understand the depravity that our enemy is capable of, it advances our strategy and our understanding of this battle. How? I mean, just when you thought that ISIS had reached the, le the depths of depravity that human beings are capable of, they, they sink even lower. I mean, these people have gone from beheading people and putting heads on posts to burying women and children alive to crucifying people, literally crucifying people, to now taking a man, pouring gasoline on him in a cage and setting him on fire and filming it for the world to see. This is the embodiment of evil as, 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 we, as anything we've seen in the history of man. You, you spoke of going to Auschwitz not long ago and, and mm -hmm. being asked a question by your son. Yeah, so we just had the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz, and I took my son to Auschwitz last, uh, last summer, and I showed him the gas chambers, and I showed him the crematoriums. And the hardest thing to do to explain to a 12-year-old boy who's watching this for the first time and coming in confrontation with what evil men are capable of is, why didn't we stop it? Why did the, the world sit back and allow the Nazis to accumulate power, to spread their ideology, to gain control of a great power, to build a military and then go out and kill millions of people? And the answer I had to give him, quite frankly, is the same reason we did nothing to stop the rise of ISIS. This is the same evil in a different form. And again, the world is repeating the same mistakes, sitting back, letting these people rise into power, get control of territory, and kill on a horrific scale. We, we, we talk about changing hearts and minds and trying to get Muslims to stand up against radical Islam and, and dissuade those who might be persuaded by the ideology. How on earth could anybody remotely attracted to this group, and it's said to be gaining in popularity, ever be dissuaded by reason? They can't be dissuaded by reason. That's the, the, that's the point. We have to, we have, these people have to be defeated. And what is so horrible about this is that they were defeated. In 2009, this ISIS, which was then Al-Qaeda in Iraq, was defeated. The point you have, General Jack Keane was on your show last week and talked about how he had seen the intercepts from Al-Qaeda Central saying, stop sending brothers, there's no point anymore, it's over. These people were out of power, they were down and defeated, and the American withdrawal from Iraq caused this, created the backing that allowed these people to come back, rise, and take over this territory. We should not be withdrawing from the world. The only thing that can stop this from spreading, a, a movement that, that does this to a man would not hesitate to kill thousands of people here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And if we do not stop them, that is what they are going to do. Mark, thank you. Thanks, Mary. Well, we are now reportedly just hours